Welcome to day 11 of Shopness. Are you excited? Yeah, love it. Oh, I'm so Real excited. Treat. Here it is, all done. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, hello, I was about to film an intro. <laughs> Hello everyone, what is up, and welcome back to my channel, Ignore the Dog Butt. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie, I live in Orlando, and I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and home decorating videos. For the month of December, I'm doing Shop Miss, where I'm doing tons of shopping, showing lots of gift ideas, stocking stuffers, Christmas decor, and today is a super fun one. A much delayed because of a wasp infestation, but we will get to that. Today is the third part of my Decorate With Me series, the third and final part, where we will be doing my front door as well as our balcony so this is gonna be a more like laid-back version it's gonna be a shop and decorate with me so you'll see me and Ryan picking out our Christmas tree doing a little bit of shopping for the items that we use in the video I'm super excited to get into it I hope that you guys have been loving shop miss if you have please be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below to help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers and without further ado let's get into today's shop and decorate with me let's get us some Christmas decorations what's your decor style for the patio what do you mean decor style? It's, what, isn't it Christmas? What are you, any <laughs> color scheme you're aiming for? Christmas. Oh, <laughs> Christmas is a color. You heard it here first. So they have all these different sets of bells. Kind of letting Brian take the design lead here. Which is weird. <laughs> he said that's weird. Um, but they have lots of different kinds of bells and we're thinking of hanging these like from our banisters outside. So we got these really pretty red glittery ones. Let me show you. So this is what they look like. I think they'll look really pretty, especially at night, like with the light shining off of them. So now we need to find some lights. Checking out like garlands. I actually really like this sign that says Santa stop here. This is 11, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanna go pick out our tree. Look at this, like motion activated, like big snowman you can put on the back of your door. Ready? Why not just a sign of winter? The oh my gosh. Enjoy this season. We wish you a Merry I'm obsessed. It's huge. anyone has ever questioned why I would want to marry this man, there's your answer. We got really like classic colored bulbs for our outside tree, all like the shatter proof ones. These actually match really well with what I'm doing on the front door, so our back patio and our front door will be really similar. The first round of goods has been acquired plus dog necessary items. It was like super reasonably priced until we rang in the pee pads and the dog food, which skyrocketed the price. Okay. We just got to Lowe's, we're trying to find icicle lights. We couldn't find any at Walmart, so we're gonna try to find them here, and then we're gonna pick out a Christmas tree, I'm so excited. I think we're gonna get a Douglas fir. I love these snowflake lights. These are so cool, the box is actually open. Look how big they are, they're huge. Okay, so this is what we're gonna get. These are incandescent lights. Um, Brian just showed me the difference, is that right? Incandescent. incandescent instead of like LED <laughs> these are like warmer um, so this is perfect it comes with two sets of 13 feet like so two strips of lights that are 13 feet each which I think is gonna be perfect for the balcony and they are $40 they're a little bit more expensive than the LEDs but I prefer the warmer color and so does Bri we decided on some garlands as well so I got two packs I really like the lights on these so we're gonna do these as well more good have been acquired. Let's go get the tree. How exciting. I haven't gotten to pick out a tree ever. He wants a Douglas fir, so that's what we're looking or for. Noble. Or noble fir. It literally smells incredible. Like, I have not smelt this smell in years, and you truly cannot bottle this smell. Like, no candle, no room spray amounts to being surrounded by all these real pine trees. <laughs> smells so good okay so they're like all twined up so you have to undo them if you want to see what the shape is we like this one but it's like too big okay so we're gonna untwine this huge one to see if it's the one all right we've decided this is the one it needs to fall quite a bit it's gonna be huge but it's so nice it's really crazy like honestly a fake tree like definitely could never replicate a real tree. I don't know how I forgot that, but I love it. Brian and his new friend learning all about real trees. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah, love it. Oh, I'm so real excited. Tree. I oh, like haven't, I, I know that one's gorgeous. Look at this one. 
I have not done a real tree since I was like a kid in Massachusetts. So I just like totally forgot like how much I love real trees. Because fake trees I feel like are a lot more convenient. You don't have to water them. You don't really have to clean up after them. But I don't know, there's something about a real tree. We're always gonna have a real tree, babe. Always. At least one. Always at least one. If we only have one, it'll be, re it'll be real. Oh, we'll always have more than one tree. No need to worry about that. Okay, we have the tree. Just have a few more things we need to pick up. So of course, you know, we have to go to Target. They're like totally out of every color, but blue. And we don't want blue. I'm super excited, it's a new day, we got all of our shopping done and now we're gonna decorate the front door. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I hope it works out. Well, in real life, how it worked out in my head. All right, let's get to decorating. Okay, here is the before, it's super plain. I took all the Halloween stuff off. Unfortunately, a little bit of paint came off right there, but luckily that's going to be getting covered and this is our starting point. When thinking about decorating our front door and our outside areas, I knew I wanted to do a much more like fun and festive traditional Christmas color palette and scheme than I did inside. I don't know, I just wanted to like project that to my neighbors that we were celebrating Christmas and we were excited about it. And I'm really glad that I went with the direction that I did because I've gotten a lot of compliments from our neighbors saying that it made them smile and that's truly what I was going for. So I wanted to wrap our door like a giant Christmas present. I feel like I saw this a couple years ago. I think it was something I did in one of my first apartments. So I kept it in mind. I did pick out this really pretty plaid wrapping paper from Walmart and all I did to perfectly get it to line up was just cut the strips the same length and then I just made sure that all of the stripes were lined up and it honestly looked very, very seamless. I did go ahead and cut out the peephole as well as the hole for the handle and the lock. They're not perfect, but they are good enough and I'm obsessed with the way it looks. After hanging up a little sign that I got in the Target Wonder Shop and then adding my sign from Joann's that is actually double-sided, I wanted to get started on my little tree. This tree is from the Target Dollar Spot and then the little star on the top is from Walmart. I went ahead and added lights and then these little ornaments that I think I also got at Walmart. I wanted to make sure that I got shatterproof ones just in case one ended up falling, but there were little glass ones at Target if you are interested in that. The tree skirt, if you are wondering, is from Home Goods, and I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that this little mini tree came out. I love how it drapes over the table, but this is a look at the door before. It was just super plain. It was a little bit drab, if I do say so myself. And now it is a Christmas North Pole Wonderland. And it just makes me so happy every single time we are walking up to the door. I just really love the way that it came out. I feel like all the colors work so perfectly together and it's just so fun and festive. And that's exactly what I was going for. But definitely let me know what you think about it down below. Here it is all done. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I feel like it's super fun and festive. 
traditional Christmas. I love the way the skirt drapes over the little table. I love the tree. I feel like it, it's so cute, even though it's like, you know, not the fullest tree. It was $5, so I love it. I love the little star, the big bow. I'm just obsessed with all of it. I wanna know what you guys think about it, though, down below. Okay, it is morning. We're getting about ready to decorate, but I wanted to show you my headband. I have so many. My best friend Emily actually makes them. She has a company, Bella Note Co. Um, it's all on Instagram. So I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested. She has so many different themed headbands. Lots of like Disney headbands too and Universal. Like if you like Harry Potter. And then for like every single holiday, they have so many different headbands. And she actually gave me a code, which is KD15, so you can get 15% off your next order. Let me show you a bunch of the other ones I have really quick, just so you can get an idea. A lot of them are Christmas, but I have a lot of other ones too, so let me show you. Okay, so here's a bunch of the ones I have. So this one's like a tangled one I have a Mickey Mouse one an Epcot one and then I have this like really fun 4th of July one this is one of my favorites like for the summer it's like a pink and lime green floral pink polka dots this really really fun Valentine's Day one and then I have this Christmas one this Christmas one and then this Christmas one and she has like different ones so she has like Bella bows and then Bella bands and the Bella bands are with the knot and then the bows have the bows I love both of them but I love the knotted ones more recently um, I'm building my knot collection now, but I have a lot of bows. And then the one I have on my head is this one, and I'm just obsessed. It's like new for Christmas this year. But yeah, I just wanted to share them with you because I thought that you would love them too. I just like love things that are super festive. And let's all do our part to shop small this year. All right, it is time to get decorating. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a before, and then we're gonna get into the decorating process, and I'm so excited. It's nothing too extravagant. We didn't wanna do too much. Like we're on an up high porch. Although I do wish we would have gotten like some decorative throw pillows and stuff, but I could always make some. I should have incorporated that into this video. All right, let's get decorating. Here is a look at the tree. It has had a little bit of time to fall, but I also realized that I don't think I've ever shown you our balcony on here. I didn't really do a good job of showing it to you in those before clips either, so I do apologize. You will see more as we start to decorate. Here's just an overview of a bunch of the stuff we bought. We ended up picking up this box of icicle lights, a couple things of garland. We also got several little boxes of lights for the tree. Unfortunately, we made the ultimate rookie mistake our first year at decorating our new place or our current place and we did not nearly buy enough stuff so Brian actually had to go out and buy more ice cold lights and more garland for us to even be able to finish it but that's just a little bit of the behind the scenes we also got this Christmas tree stand from Lowe's for our Christmas tree but it's not that great I would not recommend it so just so you know about that I did want to go ahead and prep the ornaments I like to do this because I find it's a lot more fun when you go to decorate the tree if all the ornaments already have the hooks I don't like having to stop and put a hook on every single one as I go so I did go ahead and put the hooks on all the ornaments so that it would be a little bit faster when we are ready to decorate and then I also went ahead and prepped all the lights so I just took them out of the boxes and took the twisty tie off just to make things run a little bit smoother. hung the ice school lights from the banister here and we just used these little ornament clips or light clips that we found at Walmart we just hung them all along the side but I did want to talk to you a little bit about the wasp infestation that I mentioned at the beginning of the video they really come out in the afternoon when it is warmer so you will see Brian fighting them off a little bit here a lot cuter than wasps though are our little dogs if you didn't know we do have three dogs I know that a lot of you love seeing them in the video so I wanted to just introduce 
introduce them. This is Aurora. She is a multi poo. Then there is Padme. She is actually a fox face Pomeranian and she is so mischievous. And then we have Wyatt, which is a lab mix and he is just so cute. And now we are adding the garland. This is really when the wasps started coming out. So you'll see us like flinch a couple times if you look really close. They just have no bearings on personal space, obviously. And unfortunately, when the pest control guy did finally come, he said that we needed to go ahead and knock down all of these spider webs that are actually above us, which you can't see because apparently the wasps are feeding off of the spider's eggs. So that is our plan of action going forward. And I do apologize for this video being delayed, but that is why is because we had a serious wasp infestation. This tree we decided to keep super simple. We just decorated it with the really affordable pack of ornaments from Walmart and then added some lights. We definitely could have done more and I did buy ribbon with the intention of putting it on but we totally forgot. Here we used an extra tree topper that we had so this was a super affordable and budget friendly tree. I didn't want to put glass ornaments on it of course because it is outside and I didn't want to risk having the glass break which was a smart idea because earlier today I did walk outside and find the tree had been completely blown over by the wind so I'm glad we went with the shatterproof ornaments and not much else on here but Brian really wanted a real tree and of course I wanted to do that to make him happy and I wanted to do one too so this is what our real tree outside looked like I love these little Merry Christmas ornaments and I also love how these bells turned out these were completely Brian's idea they ended up looking so beautiful they just shine so pretty they look really good during the day they really pop and then they also look really pretty lit up at night as well i'm just so glad that we got to take on this outside project together because i kind of decorated the entire inside by myself which was a pretty lonely experience and i'm glad that i had that experience because next year i definitely will want to decorate both of us together so there will be some changes moving forward with our decor but here are a couple different looks at everything during the day and then at night i'm so excited to hear what you guys think about everything for our lights on the garland they can actually flash back and forth from colored lights to white lights and we decided to go with that because we just thought it was super fun and it really popped Alrighty, you guys that is it i really cannot wait to hear what you think about our front door and our balcony that whole wasp situation got us super delayed so i'm sorry that this is coming out so late but i still wanted to share it with you because it's fun and i thought that you guys would like to see it maybe you can get ideas for next year these dogs i swear this is their house i just live in it if you haven't yet be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button down below please 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 leave a comment down below with what was your favorite part that i decorated i think personally i love the front door and i know brian loves Loves the patio I love them both but I don't know the front door is just like so festive and I absolutely love it but please be sure to let me know what was your favorite but that is gonna be it for me I love you all so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye guys